everybody, it's me Stormy and here's your horoscope for the week of December 17th where we get to celebrate our last season of the year and there are just some beautiful energies around to help bring in the winter solstice, celebrate the power of the seasons and nature to just renew itself. And that's what we're doing here at the end of the year is we're kind of coming to the space of pause, reflection, gratitude before we move into spring and life is renewed and we get going again. So it's a very exciting season and an exciting time to be a part of. So right here first in the week on Thursday, December 20th, we have got the sun and Uranus in a trine to each other. Now when these two energies come into this trine together, your intuition is like on fleek, right? You get new ideas, new experiences. They're just popping into you and it's just like, oh, I could do that. Oh, it could be this way. It's just like a flood of new energy. And it really puts you in a position where you're like, I need to get out of my comfort zone. If I'm going to have a different experience, or if I want this to look different, I've just got to get out of my box, right? Because that trying energy offers an opportunity. It's a pocket of ease. It's beautiful, easy energy to work with. The sun says, I want to be seen. I'm shining. Uranus says, I want to do it different. And I want to be my self, right? So what a beautiful energy to have as we're here in this last couple weeks of the year. Now on Friday, December 21st, we have got this beautiful energy of the winter solstice. It's a wonderful time. Like I get excited about the seasons because in Western astrology, we follow the seasons, not the constellations. So it's a big shift for us. We're gonna shift into slower, cooler energy here. The sun enters into the sign of Capricorn. So happy birthday, Capricorn, right? And it also says that we have got this big, beautiful return of light to the Northern Hemisphere. So Northern Hemisphere friends, we're getting excited, right? <laughs> it's also the energy where what happens at this time is that it looks like the sun is just standing still. So remember in astrology, the sun is light, heat, life, vitality, your essence, your being. So this is a time for you to stand still, light a candle, be grateful, reflect, and get ready for this new year and get ready for the journey of this slower season for sure. Now, this is gonna be the shortest day of the year and the longest night, okay? So it's very delicious energy. Now, to add some ushy gushy to that, we have also got this really lovely Venus and Neptune trine that is bringing love, bringing optimism. I love when Venus and Neptune are together because they're like the Bopsy twins. You know, Venus is like, oh, it feels good, and Neptune's like, yeah, so it's bliss. It's a very blissful joyful kind of energy. The only thing you do have to be careful of in a trine is that um, you don't take it too far, right? Don't think that something's too good, too much better than it is, but it is a very lovely optimistic energy. As well, we've got a little minor trine here between, this looks like Mercury and Jupiter. Oh, no, they're in a conjunction is what's happening. So this is all happening on the same day. Mercury and Jupiter in a conjunction. This is very optimistic, but again, with that Neptune-Venus energy, Mercury-Jupiter energy, don't let things be too good, right? See it for what it is to the best of your ability. But at the same time, I do think there is some beautiful human warmth in holiday bliss, like the songs and the lights and the season and the reflection at this time and the fact that our bodies know, depending on where you live, how to naturally work with the nature and the season that is around them, you know? So maybe have a chance to just get wrapped up in all of the ushy gushies of the end of the year and enjoy it. But if it comes to making some really big decisions, maybe be mindful that it could look a little bit better than it is, but just fact check and I think you could be in a good place, right? It's gonna be a delicious week, at least energetically. I look forward to seeing how it plays out for you. If you guys are watching this video, um, I am in Mexico. So this has been pre-recorded, but I am definitely thinking about you guys. I hope you have a beautiful week and I'm sending you lots and lots and lots of love. Bye.